some people are invited for a very best of the food, a feast, seven course meal they go into, they are invited into a very wonderful uh, restaurant and is one of the best in the country, I'd say, and it has all kind of different, very <coughs> healthy variety and uh, delicious food. And all of the restaurant is filled with like a buffet and they can take their hundred dishes or so. These people, they go into the restaurant, they look at the decoration, they look at the food, very good food, people are eating other things. They look at the different dishes, different delicacies, the different countries. This is Italian food, Asian food, Chinese, everything. After one or two hours, two hours, they come out of the restaurant and ask someone, is there a food stall somewhere here where you can buy some burger or <coughs> something, something to eat? <coughs> or some chips at the food stall on the street. Now the person who they are asking, he is standing outside the restaurant, he will be somewhat surprised that they are coming out of the seven course, one of seven star restaurant. And now they are asking, is there a food stall somewhere, burger or chips we can buy? There must be something wrong. He will ask them, not actually uh, And they will mention, oh, no, we want something, food, etc. Et we, we, we are very hungry. Anything will we do. Uh, we want. This example, if you have understood, this is the same example can be applied to us as well. That when we come into the masjid, Masjid is like a seven-star, you may say, spiritual center, retreat, connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the masjid, the five salahs, Fajr, Zohar, Asar, Maghrib, Shah, they are the actual best of the food, spiritually best ever. Because the Prophet Ali Islam mentioned that the Salah is actually like pillar of the Deen. It is head king of all worships. So, in other words, it is the most highest spiritual amal which a person can do because it comprises of all things together. So, we are provided that food that. Fajr, Zohar, now that has happened, Maghrib, But our example is, <coughs> we are not benefiting from the actual where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent for us the wonderful food from the heaven. We are not connected fully, or we, are, we just perform this as a duty. It is farad, it's a farad salah, so let's do it. And then after that, you ask the teachers, Oh, is there any muraqaba we are doing? How do I get closer to Allah? Can I do and what amal I can do? Can you teach me something? This is like now you ask whatever is available in the store outside. The seven course meal you have not eaten. You have just wandered through the salah, you offered the salah, but have not taken the nourishment. So the point which I am conveying is, you that actually make sure what you are taught actually the how to transfer how to spiritually focus and this salah time the four farz of salah or maghrib of salah, this is the where you can get the most out of it if you are connected you can focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's presence you can visit places sacred places heaven in no amal, no muraqabah, no 
zikr you can you can any reach anywhere near what you can get in salah because allah himself is <coughs> providing <coughs> and has prescribed and sayyidina abdul aziz the bas said that there is a special thing secret or power in salah which is that any in any way else worship but our example is that for example that we are offering salah as a duty it's like additional thing it's a like ritual compulsory now brothers what are we doing now how are we <coughs> getting closer to allah what zikr shall i do what meditation shall i do what study shall i do etc etc and things so the actual seven course meal you've not taken and now very low quality thing you are engaged in so what does that mean for you that means for you that when people who want me to or we want to sit with the my uh, myself and they who want to achieve something well that's the best time for example when i come for salah before that you should be ready purified with wudu tauba transfer tazkiya of laqaif as though you are completely disconnected and focus there and then it company me in salah to the presence of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we'll see you benefit you don't need any other muraqaba or any other thing actually because this has dhikr in it this has muraqaba in it this has sajda in it this has ruku in it this has tasbih in it this has tasbih in it this has hamd in it this has salawat in it this has salam in it this has the best of the quran surah al fatiha in it the, the quran and everything else but what's happening is we are going into a buffet looking at the buffet and coming out and saying oh can i have few chips somewhere for a few minutes because the person has not eaten they have just at the wrong round the restaurant and the food and have come out so during your stay here the highlight should be the salah the sahaba ikram used to prepare beforehand and it was as though they are in intoxication they are in a different state they, they said they would not talk before the salah and after sometimes slight seems that they are intoxicated in a way and it says though some thing has come upon them and they are even rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam our mother umul mu'minin sayyida aisha siddiqa tahira tayyiba radiyallahu ta'ala anha says that when the azan was said prophet alayhi salam his state came it was as though he would doesn't know us he doesn't recognize he became a different person he was in home but he doesn't know us we would talk but he would be in different state we can the focus the attention the tawajjo now actually going to solely actually towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then offering the sunnah in that same mode so that up to offering the fard you are in the peak and this should be the highlight of the itikaf and the spirit you will itikaf even laylatul qadr let me tell you in this night might be laylatul qadr one salah million laylatul qadr cannot actually compare to one fard salah because laylatul qadr after all is nafal whatever worship you do it be it is better than 1000 months but it is nafal so no one can be forgiven because they have now spent laylatul qadr and one fard they have missed although this comes to 1000 months but one fard have no comparison to laylatul qadr laylatul qadr is really for those people who are very steadfast upon sharia who are protecting their fraid wajibat now they want something extra so okay for them it's a night of blessing and who are missing fraid and haram and thing for them actually it's a different story but anyway the lesson the practical thing which you could you can take away is that whenever every salah come be it your individual be ready focused tazkiya purification khushu and let the journey to the divine presence begin in the salah and this is the your 
major nourishment of the day. Even now, Maghrib till Isha, Asr till Maghrib, you do many Nawafe, <coughs> Badat and Zikr and things. They won't take you so close to Allah as actually Salah actually does. Because Salah came from heavens, from Arsh, it takes the person up to there. Other are Nafal optional things. So this is one practical thing which you already are doing, meaning everyone who is staying there, they are doing Fajr, they are doing Dhuhr, they are offering Asr, they are offering Maghrib, Isha. Only thing is not benefiting from fully. So now, how I have said, it will be the highlight. You want to do Muraqaba with me? You want to be in Dhikr meditation with me? Well, here is the best thing, actually. In every Salah we come, it is a, a kind of feast, spiritual feast, to the spiritual, to the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which consists of all things. So, reflect on it and try to benefit as much as these uh, salas. And also Taravi said, it's coming, uh, for example, let, um, instead of it's just going waste, oh, it is sunnah, we have to offer. Okay, if you have to offer, why not then benefit from it? Anyway. <coughs>